Hello, boys, girls, and everyone. We're back. See this? New man. New brand spanking new mat. I just got it for uh, becoming, once again, people's champion on my locals for the month of January. Doesn't it look good? Doesn't it look cool? I don't even have that card. Amazing. Anyways, um, we're here. Currently, uh, Battle Hardened Weekend just ended. And, um, well, I got a lot of freebies. I went there day one, and then I, play, I played in the Blitz event, and then I lurked in day two. Got some signatures, got some stuff. Anyways, here is a quick montage of it. So today we're going to be looking at the stuff that I got from there, the special ones anyways. I'm not going to give, I'm, I'm not going to let you see the the stuff that I bought to build decks. That's boring. We're going to be opening this. I got four. And uh, we're going to be looking at the freebies from the event, which is, ooh, you saw that. Yeah. Oh, that, that real fast one. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be looking at these things. Yeah. As you may or may not know, there was some uh, cool guests for the event. Local, uh, local businesses, of course. And, uh, oh, am I centered? Okay. Local businesses, of course and um, guest artists and one of my favorite artists is there Soyame she did a lot of card artworks for uh, Fab and she did one of my most favorite card artworks which you'll be seeing later I'm gonna be telling you the history of it but uh, right now let's just look at it all right first and foremost we're gonna look at one two three is that right? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna look at the three promo cards that was given as a door prize for the event. There's nothing much here. There's nothing crazy. It's just a full color set. Not really a set. A full, full tree set piece of Wage Gold, which is one of the latest cards from the newest set, Heavy Hitters. It's one interesting card. It blocks for two, it costs three, and at red it has seven. It's, it's the only card, I think, that has the keyword universal, which means you can play it in any deck, just like a generic, but it gains whatever class or it's just whatever type whatever class your hero is so if you put this in a mechanologist deck and you boost this out of your deck it's gonna be okay because this one is also considered a mechanologist card and its effect is when this hits a, a hero uh, when this attacks a hero you may wager a gold token and that's it that's pretty cool uh, perfectly encapsulates the uh, big win, win big, lose big uh, <laughs> at motif of the heavy hitter set. I love it. Which gold? That's it for that card. Let's put them back on the uh, sleeves because I like my special card sleeve. And this is a few special cards for me because. That was my very first Battle Hardened, and uh, I loved it. I loved it. If 
I, it's not very visible in the in the video since I couldn't take much in the event. I was busy playing and also I was very dehydrated and hungry <laughs> because I went there. Uh, I went there and I didn't know how to get there because that was a very unfamiliar place place for me and uh, yeah I I wasn't lost but I sure was taking my time getting there and when I get got there it was almost time to you know present your yourself attend the uh, opening ceremony and get your deck lists in so I didn't really have time to eat the only thing that was keeping me alive all those eight rounds was a bottle of Lipovitan it's an energy drink I don't know if you have it in your country and what I don't know what the hell they put in that but I was active the whole eight hours I was not hang hungry I was not thirsty I did not want to pee shit or whatever I was just focused on the game I don't know if it's just I, like I said I don't know if it's just the uh, the the hype of it all or if it's just the energy drink either way whatever it is that kept me alive kept me alive I think it's the Lipovitan I'm not sure let me know what the hell is in Lipovitan <laughs> also I think our uh, yeah, our camera is what are you doing camera what are you doing step camera okay here it is the creme de la crop oh well not it's not really the creme de la crop of the <laughs> or whatever is, is it creme de la crop I don't know oh well, the, the centerpiece the the highlight of my uh, event I it also let me just say this it was fun because that's the first uh, card game event I've ever been in that felt like you were just going into a convention like an anime convention or whatever or toy convention or something it was very lax although of course you're gonna have to play for eight hours you have minimal bre breaks but you just got uh, uh, shops here and there of course two artists were there Iswardi Mr. Iswardi and of course uh, Soyame which is my one of my favorite artists along with Steve Argyle so and also I wanted to get something from Mr. Iswardi but I did not have money <laughs> I was on a, uh, running on a tight budget. I don't want to spend much on stuff. So I just got these two stuff and two more, which I will be showing later. After this, actually. That I got from Soyame, and I am very, very proud of it. And uh, of course, we're going to have to uh, show it now. I'm going to show it now. Here we go. Here it is. I'm going to first show this one. This is my most favorite card artwork. Let me take it out of the uh, the sleeve. This is one of my most favorite artworks in the game. Leave no witnesses. And that is saying something because I don't even play Assassin. Can you believe that? My favorite card in the game is an Assassin card and I don't even play Assassin. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Look at that. Also, the reason why this card stuck to me for so long and why it has impacted me for so much is because if you ever had a welcome event or something like that I don't know how it worked for you but for me when I was teaching and uh, you know teaching in welcome events I was given a paper bag. It wasn't much, but the design on it was so cool. And there's fireworks outside. I don't know why. Okay. Can you he can you even hear that? If you can hear that, that's f cool. But kind of okay. It's very loud. I think you can hear that. I don't know. Anyways. So, paper bag, right? You get a paper bag if you teach. At least that's how it was before. I don't know now. And I thought some people, I got a paper bag. And the design on that paper bag is, on the flip side, it was Mask of Momentum, which is one of my favorite cards as well. I did not get it on all the WTR boxes I opened, which is a shame. But 
it is what it is. And the second, on the flip side of that, the other side is this card. And God dang, that beautiful assassin there, the background, the brutality of it, how, he's, how she's happy with all the carnage around her. It's just beautiful. That screams flesh and blood to me. Or at least the vibes of the game to me. Brutal combat. Where you just give everything. And you live for the rush of that fighting. For the rush of that killing. You know? That brutal killing. I like that. And also, of course, a bonus is that Misleave No Witnesses is kind of hot. I like my white-haired girls. If you don't know, I, uh, I'm a fan artist, and uh, I've done a lot of uh, near automata artwork. So uh, yeah, I like white-haired girls. I especially like deadly white-haired girls, and this one is definitely one of those. Beautiful artwork by Soya May. I am very grateful that she graced it with her signature. Thank you very much for that. That's her first card. And the second card, I think you can guess, since this second card is also from Soya May, but uh, I'll let you guess for a while. I'm not gonna give you an answer until I flip it anyways. Okay, we're gonna take it out of the... Uh... Alright, there it is, buddy. Oh, that, that creased the... Uh... The sleeve, don't, no matter. And the second card, I, I don't know. But you might be able to guess. Is this. There it is. The one that got away. When I started this uh, card, when I started opening packs in this card game, the first hero I wanted to build was Kasai. I opened history pack for her. And of course, to have a lot of uh, game pieces. And uh, I never got her. I had one entire saver. I think I got her when she was already LL or almost LL, Living Legends, you know. And <laughs> I was very poetic because I ended up just playing Dory anyways because I have so much warrior cards. Also, one of the the reasons I opened a lot of Everfest as well. It's because of her, you know. Her a lot of her power cards were there, and then when I finally got to oh shit, let's go. I got a lot of Kasai cards. She allowed. <laughs> so now, of course, when she got revamped for heavy hitters, you know I was gonna get one. And also, I got myself the rainbow foil from the Blitz uh, deck and got it signed. There you go. Beautiful artwork by Soya May. A happy moisturized in her lane Kasai beautiful to see <laughs> still seeking vengeance but now with the glee on her face and also can I say so Emma's signature is pretty cool I don't know if she's using Vanta black for that black there but that is very black I think it even registers darker than the uh, the border itself in the camera you can see it right it defeats the foiling is that Vanta black that is crazy but it's so beautiful it's so memorable also uh, she had a strictly no pictures policy so, I didn't get her to sign my Marvel Kasai because, yeah, I'm planning to keep it, but, you know, if if things comes to worse and I need to sell it, I know that uh, some sellers will classify signatures as a damage to the card and it will uh, bump the grade of the card lower. So, even if I wanted to, I, for the better judgment of my own and my consultant, did not have her sign it because we couldn't have an authenticating note for it. 
So, I didn't. And I just went to sign game pieces that I definitely won't be selling and I'll be keeping for life. And this is these two. I'll be playing Kasai, this version of Kasai at least, until she LLs. And uh, I'm, I'm ditching Dory for her, <laughs> actually. A lot of uh, Dory's pieces are on her now. <laughs> I'm gonna play her in my armories from here on. Uh, 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 interspersed with some KO because I love KO. Also, this, I don't know when. Uh, I don't like Arachne. I have a lot of Arachne cards. Uh, I still don't know if I wanna play Arachne. But at least this is here. That's it. I just have. I just wanna have it there. Also, I. I. I can you believe that I actually went back to day two because I forgot my own leave no witnesses and there was nothing on the shops so uh, on day one at least and so on day two I, I grabbed a friend we we went back and uh, I just went back only to get to have her sign this <laughs> the her handler was like just this and I was like yep because I went I went there uh, last time I, I bought some stuff some other stuff and got to sign two kasais actually one is already in my deck and one is on display and then so that was a fruitful day and then on day two i was like fuck it if we, we're not gonna get a uh, full armory today because of bh i'm just gonna go back i'm gonna get my leave no witnesses signed i was debating to have her sign two of them but I was like, ah, fuck it. I, I'll just let her sign one. And that's going to be the most memorable of it. Also, I debated her to just sign one because I was going to make it a display piece along with this. Uh, A4 art print of the Leave No Witnesses artwork. Signed, of course. But just normal sign now, not with the shadow marker thingy. Look at that though. I'm, I'm, how I'm gonna display this is I'm gonna put it on my legendaries binder, put it on this one, on this page, and I'm gonna put this one here. Let it slide there. And you're gonna see that on my binder like that. If you see me anywhere, you can ask me if I have my legendary binder and if I do I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show this off <laughs> you're gonna see it of course it, because it's gonna be the front page of it and that's not all we also have of course a partner piece for Kasai which is very long and the camera cannot see it, the beauty of all of it signed right there of course Oh, hey, there it is. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Your girl's got eye bags. <laughs> Kasai, are you alright? <laughs> it's all the blood on her hands, man. She can't take it. Did she cry? What? What are those streak marks on her eyes? Are you alright, Kasai? <laughs> I'm worried. Oh my god, I, I think Kasai's depressed, guys. She's like, hide the pain, Harold. <laughs> She's smiling, but the, <laughs> but the sadness is showing in her in her eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> So you made me what the fuck? <laughs> you made her depressed. I love it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love this. I love this artwork. And yeah, that's also another display piece that you're gonna see in the binder. So there's that. Anyways, enough of that. Also, this is my band. I said it was washable. I never tried. It's like paper, but it's not paper. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know, <laughs> but that's it. 
it also oh this one also grants you like access from day one to two it doesn't you don't need to be registered for uh, both events you just you can just go there they don't they they told me that you can just go there with just one day pass and they're not gonna give it again unless unless of course you're gonna get day two if you are registered for the PTI which I wasn't but they told me that yeah this is an all access pass all days pass which is beautiful I think that's beautiful oh also of course yeah we're gonna be opening this very late in the video a lot of rambling I'm very sorry um, these are probably gonna be shit bags. Uh, two or two of them are from the uh, uh, the the prices because uh, I was placed at 112 out of 170. Not that bad, not that good. <laughs> I think I think I I think the draw one one draw pulled my score down. I'm not gonna blame it though <laughs> because not gonna like I said I'm not good with the game. But I do like it. I am sometimes a punching bag in my locals. I don't care though. I just love it. I just love this game. Anyways, we're just gonna open it. This might be crap packs, but then again, hey, do you know? <laughs> I I think you know. You watched that video, maybe. But if you didn't, go watch my pre-release video. One of the packs that I open, of course, one of the pre-release packs. It's from Jigs. It, it was handed to me by Jigs. Uh, Jigs the Assist, I think that's her, that's his name. He was the judge, the presiding judge for the event, the pre-release event, and he handed those packs to me. It was it was it was like getting. He was just jumbling the packs from that box. I think I don't know, and he just handed it to me like okay, and and one of the, the cold foil was I, my only cold foil legendary was from that from a random pack <laughs> that's not even part of the of the sealed format that we played it was just the the giveaway pack which is crazy <laughs> anyways let's just ooh, copper 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 scissors okay this is our pack one get away pack you're gonna get open later anyways yeah, Battle Harden was pretty cool. I I misplayed very gravely for two times, which I was not pissed about, but I was uh, <laughs> that 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 was that was a highlight of my day. I did not know that I would fuck it up so bad <laughs> that way as well. I will I will spare you the details, but it was bad, man. It was bad. Like one, <laughs> my opponent was saying to me, "Bro, if that happened to me, I'd cry. I I'm stopping." <laughs> it was that bad. I'm not gonna say how it was with the details of it. Was I'm gonna spare that you lay down the law. And that's two rares. That's a vigor. And money where your mouth is. Oh, and a Sonata Galaxia. Look at that beautiful. I don't have my s sleeves here now, do I? I don't. And a Centauri Saber. That's pretty good. We got a hit from from four packs. Is that beautiful? Also foil here. Uh, tokens here. Uh, foil here. And a hits there. Whatever it is. Sonata Galaxia. What is the effect on this one? Uh, this costs. Oh, I'm shaking. This costs uh, energy less to play for each rune chant you control. Okay. Search your deck for rune chant aura with cost X or less. Put in the arena you then shuffle. If X is two or more, this gets four. This gets go again. So if you spend four on this, it gets go again. And you get to put a uh, cost for less aura into the field. What aura costs that much? What? You can't put in another XX or another X card, X cost card because are you are you gonna delegate that from your deck? What their cost is? I I do believe that the ruling on that is that you delegate it first before you play it. But you're not playing it, you're just putting it in the, into the arena. 
So, I don't know. How's that gonna work? Big bop. Big in the bop. Hold him. Hold him, boy. Tonk. Wage mate. Also, let me just uh, get this. I, I swear this is just a small ta tangent. Check your uh, rainbow foils. I know there's some cards that have this shiny strip, but take take a closer look. There's actually cards that have shiny borders as well, foiled borders, rainbow vo borders on RF. Like normally, you look at this. Look at this one. See? If you see, it, if you look at it at any angles, the borders will not have foiling. The only thing that has foiling is the artwork, right? But I saw, I swear, I don't know if I can access it right now. Uh, my rainbow foils are stored somewhere. There's so many because I did a case. I did a case. Uh, I, get, I did two boxes and I opened two more boxes for some other people. I, I don't know if I'm going to publish that or something, but that's almost a case, right? Four. And then look at that. The only foiling is in the artwork. Right? There are some cards that has foiling on the borders as well. You can oh sorry camera. You can see them shining on the borders as well. I don't know. Look at your rainbow foils. Look at it. You might find it. What are they doing with these things? Are is there is it a quality quality control thing? Are they trying something out? I don't know. Alice's what are you doing? What are your mysteries? What are you not telling us? Tell it to us now. Or don't. Just surprise us, maybe. I don't know. Ah, okay. <laughs> Face adversity. That's definitely a berser Berserk reference, right? Or maybe I'm just dumb. I'm a dumb weeaboo. Performance bonus. Ooh, muscle mummy. Ooh, where you go? Oh, what is this? Ah, that's a rare. That's our two rares. Look at... Oh, oh, Goblet. Goblet or Foil? I don't think I have Goblet or Foil. I have Smashback Alehorn. But not a Goblet or Foil. Beautiful. Look at the gold trimmings on her dress. And the blood and the Goblet. They're shiny. And the people back there. They're shiny as well, but not in a very peculiar way. I love that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's Reiner. Hello, Reiner. And a Centaur Saber. Okay, Reiner is gonna use a Centaur Saber from now on. That's crazy. Third pack. And then the last afterwards. Wallop. 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 Assault and battery. Oh, please don't. Draw swords. Ooh, one of my favorite cards. Commander Spec. Beautiful. Bear Fangs, classic. Wage Vigor. Money where your mat is. Lead with power. I shall indeed. Bloody Dovo. Ooh. Rising speed. Rally the rear guard. Another classic. Back call for our first rare. <gasps> and another rare. Take the upper hand. And <gasps> a foil common. Agile engagement. Ooh, one of the terribles. Terribles, not terrible. Terrible. Uh, perforated tokens. Okay, ter. Tear. I don't, how do you how do you pronounce it? terrible? Terrible. Uh. Oh, language. So fickle. So dumb. Pong tong. A dread. <laughs> Am I the only one? Let's see something there. Like Vigor Gert. Raw meat. Pound town. Edge ahead. Ball breaker. <laughs> uh, uh, you're, you're thinking it. You're thinking it. You're thinking it. You weren't thinking it, but now you are. <laughs> Assault and bad. Bigger than big. <laughs> uh, that's what she said. Huh. Which bigger? 
shall it go mighty wind up performance bonus oh wind up again agile wind up headliner helm oh over the top that's our first rare <gasps> and another rare and that's it a rare foil and that's all she wrote that's it that and uh this stuff that all of this sonata galaxia the foils the cool looking foil actually goblet foil these three these and these that's it oh also this that's my battle hardened experience my very first battle hardened and i love it i'm definitely gonna go on the next one i hope there's a next one is that how it goes is that a yearly thing this does a country always get one every year every two years i don't know really um yeah and after this we're gonna go back to armories again because i like armories and i like playing and i'm gonna play a lot of kasai so see you later or see you next time i don't know bye